All right, hello everyone and welcome to what's going to be the start of my Horizon Forbidden West playthrough. I apologize for taking so long to get around to it. I just had a little bit of a couple of days where I kind of just wanted to chill. Um, and so I figure, you know what? Tonight I'm not really doing much. Uh, and tomorrow I'm not really doing too much either. So why not? Might as well, right? Especially since I'm fresh off the last game, you know, might as well. This Friday is Triangle Strategy, too, so I kind of want to get a little busy. Yeah, so you, English, English. Uh, yeah, I do not have an HDR TV. My TV, I think, is, it's 10, no, it's 1080p. Let me, let me not say that before someone yells at me. It is, I just usually, um, I'm used to it being 720, because when I got it, I was using Component. That was back in the, the Ground Zeroes days, I think, was the first playthrough I had where I use component anyway through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge one question consumed me how did our world come to be this is actually a really cool opening having played the first game this is awesome ones perished a thousand years ago triggering the extinction of all life She showed me how it was reborn. And God damn it, I hate her. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Yeah, might might be a little late to say this is massive spoilers Each for the first game. <laughs> part to reach the Earth from a barren rock. Lush landscape. Oh shit, took the dead watcher. What the hell? What is he even gonna do with it? Mm, fucked up. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Yeah, these are all scenes from the first game, which is pretty cool. I wonder if they're re-rendered. A malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. <laughs> oh yes. I gave the spear. Battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. That's right, this is my game. She strives to put right what Hindi sundered. I, I seek knowledge. A new discovery. What a weird <laughs> fucking One game, man. Both destruction <laughs> and opportunity. C could you not? Can we just, like, learn about stuff and be chill? All right, well, I don't think there's really too much to do. Uh, oh, God, there's vibrations when I go through the menus. Camera positioning left aligned. Choose dynamic or always on the left of the screen. Oh, wouldn't this be, like, right flip, right? Oh, please, turn motion blur off. I hate motion blur. Uh, camera shake is cool sometimes, uh, depending climbing annotations i mean we could leave it on left align uh please favor performance i don't know why that's not default right yeah i, I would rather the game perform constantly even if it's 30 i, I don't care uh, let's have subtitle background i guess okay cool uh that, that's really it it's it's the usual i like having subtitles on i've explained this a thousand times i just like having them on okay explorer minimal hud oh this is like what assassin's creed kind of did uh, I guess we could keep on Explorer. I did the same thing for Odyssey, so I'll give this game the full treatment as Odyssey. Oh shit, that's right, no loading times. I hate the new generation of consoles. <laughs> so I wonder where this is, and why are we gonna go to the Forbidden West? It's mentioned in the first game, I think, like, two or maybe three times as, like, an area. You know, I would have just been, like, lore, I guess, but since it was already announced by the time I played it, I knew it was part of the sequel. So I'm, I'm very curious, like, why are we going there? Probably to chase Silence, but 
you know, whatever he found is probably super fucked up. Who knows? I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. Oh, great. Glad everything we did was Even pointless. <laughs> Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. Oh, damn, even the foxes. Then, the plants are turning red. The fox is dying. For, for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. And what is this ominous storm in the background? But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. We all die. What the hell? You have the Black Panther dream? Okay. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. This poor Waiting woman. Waiting for me. Both of them, really. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. Yeah, do we find that at the end of the last game, I think? Or am I bugging? Maybe I'm overthinking moment, about it. I feel whole. And then you fade away. Yeah, so the land starts turning red. Ugh, that's, that's not great. Just when you thought things ended on a good note last time. And you're like, yeah, it was ominous, but it was a good ending for the I'm most part. Left alone. <laughs> Yeah, we did get that. Okay, I wasn't... I wasn't losing my mind. Jesus. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. And the tutorial area. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. Yeah, so I wonder if we'll, we'll wear that the whole game. At least now she's wearing actual armor, you know? Oh, it's, uh, Varl, yeah. <laughs> With a beard. If it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. I'm just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Oh, we? Better get the hell out of here. Ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually. But, um,. I should... Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help Lenora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. Yeah, that didn't go so well for you're your sister. I, I would leave while you're ahead. Mark on wood. Okay. But, if you're going to come with me... Need to be able to see we, just, see we just have multiple of these. Okay. <laughs> a focus. Never thought I'd get your second. Still got a buff. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data. 
information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Are you sure he won't, like, seize out? Like, this is gonna be crazy for him. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. This would totally be a co-op game if it came out ten years ago. You, you could see that immediately. This is exactly what they did to Dead Space 3. gonna be the finale of the game you have to play as Varl on the conclusion all right I got a couple of scrapes on the way here we should find some medicinal plants stock up okay so it's time for your first lesson with the focus sounds good how crazy would that be if you play as him in the tutorial that would be absolutely hilarious and then they give you back Aloy that would be ridiculous okay really quickly though hold on I need to do one thing Okay, I apologize if the first part was weird. It's I won't even call it the first part. Like the oh God, you move so slow. There you the go. Focus helps you see the ones we need. Okay, so this is very yeah. different. I don't think you can activate it like before. Here we go. You can store a limited number of medicinal berries in your medicine pouch. Tap up to heal. So instead of it being a bar, now it's just a flat-out healing ability. Okay. The camera also feels a little bit further back. Here you go. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. Right. <laughs> we should keep going. This dude got a buff because he wasn't in like half the game. Yeah, good idea. Oh, uh, we only have rocks. Okay. Rocks. Uh. Oh, we left all our stuff behind. There's light spear, and then there's heavy spear. Still feels just as slow. What circle do again? Dodge roll? Okay. And this is crouch. Gotcha. Okay, and that's jump. Yeah, it's not pleasant to breathe either. Okay. Man, this sucks, dude. After all we did in the first game, now nah, now they're just like, yeah, we'll just starve them out. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which way we go. Tap circle before the apex of a jump towards water to swan dive. I totally did not do that. Okay. All right. Obviously, the swimming is very, very different. Like you can actually go underwater now. See. We went from like Spyro 1 water to Spyro 2. It's kind of crazy. What are we after exactly? I don't know. We'll see it and we'll find it out. Okay, you can still hold to access this. Gotcha. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Uh, did they? The fuck? Is there even anything over here? By default, your HUD is set to dynamic. It only displays information relevant to situations. Swipe up to see the full HUD. Okay, I'm totally not going to remember that. The last game didn't really use, like, swiping or anything. It, it was pretty, uh, pretty standard. You could almost have confused it for a PS3 game in that regard. Not, not obviously graphically or anything. Just, uh, controls-wise. Okay. Yeah, Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else will come? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. Okay, yep. Teach us how to craft. Damn, the wood is like practically right. glowing. Now to craft some arrows. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Everyone's favorite. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. 
All right. Nothing well placed arrow can't knock free. What? Give me a body boost. Just have to target the rock. After you. And that's why I'm the smarter of the two. There you go. We gotta do this. Start bunny hopping. Actually, I don't think this is effective in this game, huh? What was this place? I don't know. The transmission. The uh, message I found didn't say. If only that a backup might be here. We need to find. Oh, does this stuff hurt when you walk through it? No. Okay. Oh, it does. So, Never mind. Um, <laughs> what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Uh, I see this. Do I just hit it with an arrow? No. Oh god, it's fucking controller speakers. Let me let me not, because because that's gonna just sound terrible. Not photo mode, Jesus. Uh, I, I a lot of games do this, and I forget that like the new controllers they do this a lot. Uh, crap. I, I actually have no idea where it is. Auto sprint on foot? Uh, no, that's fine. How do you want... Uh... Are you serious? Oh, that's dope that they have this. I can't believe it. Wow. I don't, I don't have, I don't have it, but, um, I know, I know someone who does, and it, it really bothers them. That's actually, that's actually really nice of them to do that. Where the hell do you turn off controller speaking? Oh god, am I gonna have to do this the whole fucking game? Is just deal with this? It's, it's kind of bad, but especially when you have uh... Oh, I don't need I don't need accessibility. Quest pathfinding, wait, we point pathfinding. Uh, you're killing me! You're killing me! You're, you're absolutely killing me. Mount follows road. Copilot. Oh, there's like pseudo. Oh no, there's QTEs. Are you serious? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. You could change the um, controller layout, which is kind of cool. Oh well, I tried. I didn't see it. That's going to be great the whole game. Oh shit, he scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I guess maybe you could... Okay, game. So wait a minute. Wait, hold on a minute. Am I bugging? He can get up here, but I can't get up here. What a video game. Zero out of ten. This is why Elden Ring slaughtered this fucking game. <laughs> kind of wish you didn't have to pause to pick up stuff. That was one thing I did not like in the last game, I'll be honest with you. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, so if you're in it, you have, you breathe it in and it's bad for you. Down this way. Yeah, okay. Oh no, what the wait, what the fuck are those? That's new. Like weasels or gophers. Well, if they're introduced this early, they must be easy. How do you want to handle it? Focus can help us. Yeah, this this ability I never used. Okay. There you go. A burrower. Those are its weak spots. Got it. You could scroll through the components. Okay, this is on D-pad now, which makes it a little bit nicer. Okay, we do have concentration again. I missed on my first arrow. That's very nice. <laughs> okay. I don't know if my arrows are just weak or if it just has a lot of health. Damn, he went into Pound Town. What the hell? All right, sweet. Find anything good? A few supplies. Another one's coming. What? Where? Oh. I wonder what that prevents it from doing. Because usually when you remove components, it damages a machine and it can't do the same stuff. Eh. How does the focus know all that? 
take all of it. Reads data on a machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Repulses can show things. That's kind of like an upgrade that like a lot of games got. Like every game got a detective mode, but then a lot of games got this, like a faster version of it. Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. I set out to find you. Wait, hold on. Okay. Someone shot this machine too. All right, we got we got tons of healing. Resource container. Yeah, this menu is different now. You can't just mash X and go down the list. Now it's it's horizontal. Another ladder. I need to shoot off the lock. Oh. Got it. Ooh, ready. You said you had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. Yeah, so now we don't have to worry about it. We we got multiples. I, I didn't... You don't even need to crouch to go through this. What the hell? They tell you to crouch. You don't even need it. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, tap to sprint. Yeah, I like how we're just chill about that now. Wasn't there a ladder over here or something that you could kick down? I'm not losing my mind, right? Was it further over here? I have no idea. Okay, I guess, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, here we go. Haha. -ha. I feel like it would have just been faster and easier if he buddy boosted me, but whatever. Oh, this was the thing where they were shooting something into space. Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. Uh I guess they want us to check in with them. There you go. Please hold for identity scan. Oh, you're Elizabeth Sobek. Hilarious. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, Let's find a way in. I mean, the whole place is exposed to the elements. We could just, like, climb over. <laughs> Please hold for identity scan. I should be able to pry this open. Oh, R2. Okay, it's a hold. And you get, like, the nice little trigger. Uh, what, what is it called? The the haptic triggers or whatever? There's climbing gear. You get some resistance. There's someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? That's a good question. Ugh. Very spooky. What's that stench? Entire camp. Oh that? yeah. They were awesome the too. Scrub. Yeah. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. <laughs> I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. What about over here? Oh, I'm gonna love this. When Assassin's Creed had this change, man, it, it changed the whole way I played the game. It was so nice. Still need to get the platinum for Origins. I just, I never got around to it. I'm gonna do that this year, 100%. Okay, there's literally nothing else to see. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Yeah, like a, a bomb or something. I think I got something. Okay. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto me. Oh, God. <laughs> this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. Yeah, he's a very fast learner with this thing. 
Ah, uh, yes, purples. Acid burned right through his armor. What? What is it? Part of the machine oh. could help fix the gears. Is that maybe it? Seemed like whoever they were, they were here for a while. But yeah, Farzina was mentioned in the first game. So it's kind of like a, a continuation of a plotline that was like kind of referenced a little bit. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. Alright, All right. let's craft it. To repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. What? Do you were there workbenches in the first game? No, okay. This is for special gear, an improved version of a Delver's prototype that can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. Okay, and I guess obviously this will get expanded. The pull caster. There. Uh, pull. <laughs> she names it a pull caster. <laughs> now to test it on the debris. Oh, it's a it's a cutscene item. Okay. It's a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Uh, hold L2 and tap triangle. Oh, so maybe you have like a tool menu now. Okay. Oh, oops, that's, that's the wrong thing. Hilarious. Like this? Yeah. Wonder what the the combat usages of it will be. Maybe you can like use it to pull machines over or something if you stun them. That worked better than I thought. A pull caster. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to say. Yeah, they actually look like full-on people now. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars. And then go out there. in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Wonder, is there anything for scanning him? Some games they would do something. They'd be like, oh, you like what you see? <laughs> what game was it that did that? Oh, man. I, it sucks. It's been too long. Very unfortunate. I think it was Resident Evil. Uh, it was one of the Resident Evil games, I think. Is this something we could throw to? Almost didn't turn out much. Wasn't there? Yeah, what's this? Yeah, grapple point. Okay, you had to scan it. Oh, no, this is not a grappler. Okay. Are you serious? Oh, my God. <laughs> so manually using the pole caster does not let you grapple? Or maybe they just want to force it so you, you, you know that you could jump to it like that. Okay, that's interesting. Score drops. There you go. Yep, long jump. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Long. Thanks. Conveniently placed ladder, of course. Ow, ow, ow. It hurt. I don't know why that hurt so much. Okay. Humans. <laughs> sapiens. Us. Idiots. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now, Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That 
That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. To the far reaches of space. A serious system. There will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years <laughs> to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know... Yeah, and we know this failed, which sucks. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe... Face censored, of course. Of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yeah, it failed. Yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Well, what if it didn't? <laughs> and the third game, you're fighting like humans that made it, and they're like alien invaders. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Yeah, because they would need to terraform it. Possibly. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability. New bio contagions. Rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? Uh, not long, actually, from this. Believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. And then they go over there and they start the same cycle over again. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't work out for them in the end. And the sad part is they're not the most guilty party. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. You know, this guy is just having the most mind-blowing day of his life. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. For Aloy, it's just another story mission. <laughs> the PR presentation. The wilds have really grown over this place. Shit, come on. Do, do the bunny hop. Oh shit, okay, hold on. This is such a Batman tool. Oh shit, whoops. For a second there, I thought I could double jump. I don't know why. I had, like, I don't know. I had, like, Jack and Daxter flashbacks or something. And I barely even played Jack and Daxter. My focus might be able to help here. What? Why? Okay. Why? Let's see. I should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. Yeah, I, I, I could already know. <laughs> they, they really wanted you to examine it. Mm, look at that good red stuff. Nothing good. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. Up here. Alright, cool. Careful. Don't want those things to call 
find some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Oh god, this is, literally didn't work in the first game at all. <laughs> I think he was the guy with me when we were doing it, right? Moving up. I need to sneak up on him to take it out with my spear. Okay, let's see. Can you highlight tracks? Yes. First. Check its patrol path. You can tag it too. What is the patrol path on it? I, I can't even see. Okay, I think it's gonna turn. There it is. That's why it wasn't it wasn't a very obvious patrol path. Oh, great. Look at this game making me do all this shit. Dude, I, I literally never even fucking use this shit at all. <laughs> game, could we not? I, I never did this. Got it. I didn't read it. I guess if there's a skull icon, it's guaranteed to kill. Was that what they were saying? I, I just kind of moved in. Gotcha. <laughs> Mine's down too. All right, cool. More of those machines ahead. Nothing more I can't handle. There's no more sight indicator. I just realized that. You can only highlight one, right? Yeah, so we'll just grab this dude right when he comes here, see? Yeah, there's no more eye indicator anymore. I don't know why. I guess they... It wasn't cool anymore. That was, like, kind of a unique thing, but I guess they figure, like, you're either not seen at all or you're making a ton of noise. Like, there's no in-between for that. I, I don't know. I'm just speculating. Yeah, see? So if, if it's a guaranteed kill, it shows a little skull. That's actually nice. A lot of games could benefit from that kind of clarity. Alright, why are we even pretending like this is something I'm going to do for the whole game, honestly? Oh, okay. More mo When you have too much, it moves to your inventory. Gotcha. What? You missed. Okay, cool. <laughs> Machine muscle. So you could probably only have so much equipped at once, maybe? I guess. Oh, shit. That, that's that's funny. <laughs> okay. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. Yeah, what's with the shag rug on your face? Yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Damn, he was mad about that too. <laughs> Like this little guy got caught up in the blight. Couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, more Batman sequences? Oh god, this is the whole video game for me now. You already know it. I'm literally just fingering the right thumbstick the whole time. Managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I really want to appreciate how much of a quality of life change that is, honestly. I'll keep this for later. Health potion? Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Yeah, they didn't change the D-pad menu. Oh well. I, I mean it's not like I can't live with it, it's just Perhaps annoying. Oh, might be able to disarm them. Okay, yeah, so we retained this ability from the first game. There we go. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Yeah, Sivaro. 
You're rolling with me now, okay? This is how we do things. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps. Yeah, if only the game had like a full on uh hold down to open the hunter kit, okay. We have blast paste. Wild meat and medicinal berries, okay. If you over if you if you heal, you can overheal beyond your max health. Alright, I see. You can't craft rocks, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Chill water. I wonder what happened to all our stuff. So this is the problem with any sequels like this. It's like, what happened to all my stuff? We we left behind everything. All the good weapons and all the good gear. We're just like, eh. Don't need it. I can use this. Okay. Should have what I need to craft a trap. I never use yeah. traps either, so. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Uh, sure. I think I used traps maybe what three, four times in the playthrough. Machine's head. Don't think they spotted us. I've seen Scrounger? Scrounger. That's new to me. Yeah, what the hell? Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Yeah, you you still you can't throw it. Yeah, see? You can't throw it. Traps are kind of useless, low-key. Can I just stab them? Oh, that's probably why they're telling you to place shit, because you can't just stab them. Oh, well, I mean, we gotta wait anyway. It's too late. Oh no, apparently it's a kill. See, Varl is giving me bad ideas, okay? I know what I'm doing. No, no, no. Pick a way you're going. One way or the other. Actually. I wonder if I need to distract him or not. Oh, the icon's still there. Okay, it's just a little different. We're clear. Let's keep going then. Alright, pretty simple. Wait, do we loot it? Did I loot it and forget? No. Okay. Now it's the burrower. I guess I did loot it. Damn, at this point I just loot stuff and I forget about it. <laughs> Are they all like this? They all have their secrets, but every place is different. There you go. Uh, yeah, okay. Whoa, that machine we saw earlier must be on the move. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. All right, they don't do the slow mo in this game. <laughs> Maybe not yet. They're gonna save it for the big jump. The trailer footage. That's a big uh, storm picking up out there. Yeah, no one questions the big red swirling circle. To the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that. Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. Ancient ring. Way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Yeah, here we go. High Council Executive Summary. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded. I am exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at a mutually profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt, in contrast to less tactful recommendations of certain. Uh, 
of certain of our more reactionary members. In short, Farzenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive, 500 ectogenic chambers, we already know about that, they sent those, and supplementary ectogenesis research reports. In exchange, for example, we'll receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to the Odyssey's launch, where estimates of Zero Dawn's timeline, by then it should be a near complete repository of human knowledge. It should be noted that Dr. Subic was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand, making it clear this was a non-negotiable term. As our more as our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communication with Dr. Sobek's team while blah, 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 data corrupted. This data mentions the tech that Farzenith traded with Zero Dawn. That doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'll keep an eye out for more data. All right. You do that, because I won't. Let's see. <laughs> huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Yeah, for a dude who's only had his thing for an hour, he's, like, like merry-suing it super hard. Hang on, I gotta kick this down. It'll be useful if I fall down. <laughs> I love when that happens. <laughs> We won't be going that way. Yeah, in every game, I love when that happens. That's hilarious. There you go. It's so unexpected, too. It's still a surprisingly good trick that they pull in so many games. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Okay. Bro, this is what we call a cutscene. Monzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering. An obvious advantage to our space colonization. Yeah, efforts. so they would obviously want that. Operation phase one. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase two. The asset will secretly beam cast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. And you know what? Well That's actually a good thing. Remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. <laughs> Yeah, that was the security guy. Yeah. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes. The they were going to do corporate espionage. <laughs> well. Farzenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Oh god, we have to uh, fill him in. It's okay, <laughs> Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. Our last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. 
There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> yeah, this this is mind breaking. <laughs> you will too, with the focus, but for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we the plot have of the first game is like actually wacky. So this dude is I don't know, man. Good luck. Yeah, Project Anzu. Well, that's nice. Nothing like some good old corporate espionage. Okay. Alright, there's, there's nothing here. I'm assuming this area is linear, so you kind of can't miss anything, maybe. Who knows? Those Ostrom must have left this behind. Can't help them, but it can help us. What is it? Thanks, Will. Don't be a rope caster. I, I I never want to use a rope caster. A blast sling? Blast slings launch bombs that affect large areas. This is one fire frost. Use them to build up the brittle state. Enemies are more vulnerable to impact damage. Okay. Did they split the sling? Oh, you could have six weapons equipped, but that's probably what they did to the sling, is they probably made it so each weapon has its own ammo type now. Okay. Instead of each one weapon having multiple different types, maybe they just made it so one weapon has one type of weapon or one type of arrow. Oh shit! <sighs> Need to stop doing that in games, man. I swear. Uh, how do I go down? Oh, okay. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Yeah, that's a snake. What is it? Red on yellow kills the fellow? Red on black, uh, friend of Jack? Couldn't we just sneak up on it? Like this? Nice and slow. Fuck you, game. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a snake. It spits acid. Great. They didn't stand a chance. Right. Don't worry. We'll be fine. They have a stash in this game now. Okay. That'll be interesting. So. Said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Ah, damn, it's too far. Okay, that's fine. Did, did they talk about him purging that, or is that new? I mean, it makes sense. He kind of wanted to undo a lot of it. Maybe he also purged most of the backups as well. I mean, he kind of did everything he could to be an asshole. That's kind of his story. All right, let's see. All right, so in this game, you maintain the ability to shoot while on a wire. So some abilities are just baked into Aloy now. Some of them are lost. Feel like this was the way I was supposed to go originally, or maybe not. Okay. Wow. That big metal thing the ship is going back to the auditorium. Imagine going up to the stars. Poor Osram, as usual. Machines tore right through them. These guys couldn't catch a break. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Uh, yes, we can. I forget how many you can uh, how many you can tag at once. 
despite how this game starts off, it's not really a stealth game. Contrary to what the game kind of like purports itself as a little bit here, this game is not really a stealth game, per se. In fact, by the end of the first game, I was kind of not stealthing at all. I was kind of just running up to stuff and murdering it. Yep, see? A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. I made it hold its position. Alright, well, they're not talking, so there's probably a third one. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, shit. I even see this guy. Oh shit. Is he gonna go back to fucking harvesting his friend? Oh shit. Alright, we might just have to kill this guy. He's kinda in a bad position. Varl! Varl! Varl. Homie. <laughs> what is he even doing? What? It's the unfortunate part about video games. I mean, look, I'd rather they not bust you when your AI teammates are being dumb. Right? Like, I'd rather they just say, okay, it's a video game. Obviously, the AI can't be held accountable for everything, right? God, these arrows are so weak. Bitch. Critical strike. No, you don't. That's my kill. You're the newbie here. This is mine. Okay. What? I'm stuck. Machine ripped right through the wall. There's a ladder in the back. What? What? Okay, you have to have full damage to be able to break that. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her <laughs> Me neither. Oh, that's just mean, man. But true. Oh, shit. Here you go. She's definitely not going to be happy when you either die or go to the Forbidden West with me. Yeah, it's a bunch of snakes. It's two of them? Oh, that's not good. I already hate it. Three of those things. Why did it have to be snakes? Slaughtered all those Osram, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy. <laughs> Trust me. And there she goes. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So many people mad about this for some reason. Ow. That was not great. Thank you, Twitter. I don't have any more rocks, okay. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. Whoop.
Oh, would you look at that? A stealth segment. I didn't tag that third one. That's kind of a mistake. I think you could tag up to three enemies at any given time. It's a little bit hard to see the enemies to tag. Hi. No, he's, he was going to touch me. There you go. I, I had to kill him. He was going to touch me. Yeah, there's a, a lot of vibration on the controller in this game. The, the haptic feedback is kind of nuts. There. That ladder can give me a What the fuck? Am I bugging? Oh. I'm not. I'm so not looking for this kind of stuff at all. Drop. Oh, I see. Okay, you can you can do like a jump boost, basically. barely highlights it. I don't know. I swear, I'm not colorblind. <laughs> I, I know I'm not, specifically. Storm's getting bad. There's actually an item over there. I, I see that they want you to use this. Oh, well, I guess if I go across like this, I won't be able to get it now. Oh, well. Made it. This is easy. What could go wrong? Easy. Now, why would they make acid spitting cobra machines, you know? Well, we'll just parkour. It's fine. Control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. And smash all but one of them, I'm sure. Oh, no machines in my way. Okay. Yeah, like this looks really faint compared to the original game. I don't know why. What the hell is that? Ancient valuables box. I do not have any more rocks, unfortunately. Actually, I actually haven't been like looking to pick stuff up. Come on, come on, move a little faster. I'm gonna shank him. So that's our level and then we have upgrade points. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you. There you go.
And where was the, the loot box? Yeah, some of this stuff just looks so good. It looks like it's part of the environment. I'm just going to walk past everything. I'm not really used to playing games on the PS5. This is only the third game I played on my PS5, legitimately. Last year was only Resident Evil 8 and uh, Tales. This is the, the third game I'm playing on this console. So, like, there's, like, a jump in quality. It's, like, details and lighting that got, like, the biggest jump, you know, in, in terms of console power. And I'm still not used to it. Like, it still, like, weirds me out a little bit. Where was the ancient valuable box? That's really what the world wants to know. Here we go. Ancient ring and an ancient wreath. Yeah, necklace. Well, we're never going to want for healing. I mean, that's kind of a given at this point. Control console might be in there. Okay. I'm going to crush those machines down below. Mass murderer Aloy. What? All life is precious? Not machines. That just kind of pissed it off. Okay, here we go. It's got two more. the tower to find a way to disconnect them well that'll help I'm assuming something with this yeah here we go pull that beam down it might drop the access lift this is so weird <laughs> but I guess a lot of people like pulling things like, like, that's a common mechanic in a lot of games, is to pull shit down. Do we, like, grab up here? Here we go. Can we jump for that? Yeah, I guess we can we could sprint jump. Okay, the creaking doesn't sound good. I have to detach those cables quick. I like how it only starts to tilt and fall apart when this like probably what, a hundred thirty pound woman starts jumping around on it. It's been here for a thousand years this way. No, no machines have climbed through this stuff at all. Easy. Okay. I'm just saying, it's, it's always very, very suspicious, the timing. But when, then again, when have I ever been wrong? Dude, Varl just started today. <laughs> this dude is doomed. Okay. Almost there. There's the other connector. This whole thing is going to collapse with us on it. Yeah, one of them will survive, though. And we're going to have to fight that exact one.
Just a normal day, nothing major. What's he even gonna do? A slither fang. Well, he's mostly stuck anyway, right? He's a fast mover, too. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Push me in the fire, too. Alright, so you get affected by debuffs in this game just like everyone else. Okay. Uh, we could do this. I don't know, maybe he's weak to this. And as usual, the first shot I whiff horribly. Who could have seen that one coming? Okay, I think certain ammo types now take longer to craft. It's not instant. There we go. Why are we taking damage? What the fuck? Oh, because we're getting chilled too. I'm guessing this won't exactly be like a common boss fight, will it? Seems pretty, like, intense. Like, very in-depth. And <laughs> very specific. Still have iframes. Oh, great, it burrows. That's excellent. It's accumulating frost damage? Okay. I mean, that was kind of obvious. It's the only weapon they give you anyway. I think you hit it anywhere and get that effect. Oh, by the way, I'm out of fucking chill water. That's nice. I guess you can't hold as much in this game. Better switch weapons and hit it before it thaws. Is that it? I wasn't even looking at its health bar. I guess so. <laughs> it's dead. Finally. Skill point, max health. Okay. Let's take a look at the different trees. You've earned your first skill point. Skill points are gained by leveling up and completing quests and activities. Choose a skill tree and tap X to open it. Okay, so like Hunter. Oh, this is way more in-depth. Oh boy, okay. Concentration. High volley. A connected skill. Deep concentration. Level one, okay. So you can get outfit boosts as well. Potent medicine. Medicinal berries for more healing and heal you faster. Tap up to heal. Uh, okay. Low health regen. Automatically recover health sooner when uh, when in the critical health state below 25 HP. 25%. Toughened. Overshield. What the fuck? Are we even playing Horizon anymore? What the fuck? Quiet? Hold on, is this a infiltrator? Reduce visibility and movement. Includes weapon techniques for sharpshoot bows and machine master. Take less damage while mounted. To override or to mount an over a machine, tap square. 
spike trap. Uh, this this is definitely a lot more confusing to look through. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Connected. Okay, so the connected skill, I guess, is going to, like, connect us to the network cause, or something like that. I'm just spitballing here. So, obviously, we just pick between one of these early ones. We can't do Resonator Blast. First, strike an enemy with your melee attacks to build up energy. And when fully charged, tap R2. Finally, switch to a bow and shoot the energy. So, you, you have to hit a bunch, then you can mark them. I guess that's the mark right there, is that thing that she put on its head. Yeah, see? It's like you plant him with a sticky bomb. A Nora warrior, a powerful melee combo. So there's actually like melee techniques in this game, basically. Instead of it just being two empty skills, see? So this is almost like Batman a little bit, where you have to like do all the different things to like break through people's guards or remove their weapons. Same sort of a deal. Quick Trapper. No, can you throw traps? Nimble Crafter. Oh, okay, you have to upgrade that now. Elemental Fury. Oh, you know what it is? It looks like maybe you could get sockets for abilities? There's, like, actual, like, powers in this game. Okay. The Rope Caster returns. Food duration. All right. Oh, I think I think it's pretty obvious what we're supposed to get. Maybe deep concentration. I, yeah. Let, let's just do that. There you go. All right. So to get this, okay. This is a valor surge. Can I learn all three connected skills to automatically unlock it. Equip a valor surge to use it. They're powerful special abilities that require a buildup of valor. Earn valor through various actions like removing components, targeting weak spots, and defeating enemies. Okay, I wonder how many you could have equipped at any given time. Build Valor faster. Even deeper. Oh, okay. This is a passive boost. It can be recognized by its circular shape. Skills in this category provide a constant increase to your basic capabilities. Uh, learning passive boosts multiple times increases their benefits. Outfits and weaves can also improve their effect. Okay, gotcha. And then these are actual abilities. See? So, like, this is, like, rain from the sky, basically. Oh, I see. Learn. It, it's Connected isn't a skill. It's, it's like, you have to get across to it. I see. I thought maybe, like, Connected was, like, you, you know, some story thing. I don't know. Okay, that makes sense. So, then I'll probably get Potent Medicine next. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot more complex, needless to say. They, they definitely increase the amount of stuff in this, for sure. Nora Anointed. Well-worn armor made with repurposed technology from an ancient lab. After losing its power source, it was modified to augment ranged combat. Okay. Yeah, this is way more in-depth, obviously. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyway... Looks like you keep your ability to, uh, to run and, and or can you still, what was the, what was the heavy weapon ability in the first game? I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> Don't worry, I already turned her into Batwoman. Gaia, fix the system, heal the blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. Don't worry, it's not going to be that easy. Okay, I should find a server room. Silence took it, I'm sure. Oh shit, I, I gotta look before I walk through fucking hallways in this game. <laughs> I'm close. I have to be. I played the first game. There's always stuff down in places like this. Now you can tell these look way better with the lighting changes. A lot of fog, but you know, whatever. Please be here. Okay, well that's the right way to go. Anything in the wrong way? No. Oh wait, yes. Onto the matter of Mr. Dalgard. He's been a valued, a valuable member of, of Far Zenith for years. 
Even Peter saw the need for a polished spokesman to preserve anonymity for the rest of us, but if all the new members we recruit to, to increase funds for the Odyssey's expedited timeline, there are simply not enough berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made, and let's face it, Oswald lacks the skill set for our future aims. He'll retaliate if we exclude him, of course, so we'll have to give him a proper send-off, but that doesn't mean his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate a digital puppet, giving us the means to... Oh... They were gonna, they were gonna whack him probably, and they were gonna have a fucking digital hologram take his place. And they also weren't gonna take him with them to the future, uh, to whatever planet they were gonna do. Reach for the stars. This will low key become like a Mass Effect style franchise in the third game. I'm gonna travel around to a bunch of different places. <laughs> it's here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Uh oh. Elizabeth? I'm already in the fifth them. Yeah, show them. Blasphemers, brood of vipers, with a mighty hand I smite and pour troubles upon you. And delete. <laughs> Thou shalt not steal. All right, it's a little cheesy after that. Yeah, he had a flair for this, by the way. That's what caused them to not survive. Deuces. <laughs> There was no Gaia. We're fucked. Wow. All of this for nothing. And that's probably what fucked up their whole systems and probably destroyed the thing in orbit, too. Either that or they. What the hell? Our hair is going nuts. The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. I mean, we had to check no matter what, but, you know. I got it. Farrell, I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. <laughs> I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Farrell. I haven't heard from him since the battle. Yeah, so canonically, the DLC takes place before the final battle. He's good at finding people. Isn't he? Laurel, I... Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Yeah, overriding. <laughs> oh, this poor guy, man. <laughs> 
I like how we're already trying to ditch him, man. He just wants to help. New interlude, the point of the lance. Dude, get out, get out the way, man. Yes, we, we know. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned his welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Oh, shit, Murad, my favorite. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. A shame. Two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened in the spire. Come. I'll show you. This is cool because I think a lot of these areas were in the first game. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll be able to explore this since, you know. Probably won't. It's probably only a cutscene. That's what an interlude is. Solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night for less than half a minute. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the lights. But those who were closer, top the Allied, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that. Yep, the remains of Hades. <laughs> left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. This poor guy, yeah, you get none of the action. <laughs> so this is literally the end of the game, pretty much. The end of the first game. <clears throat> Looks the same as before. I could pull this thing out of my What? Was it sent to... Yeah, this thing might have been set. It was probably a trap by Silence to send it to him maybe later, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, we've been used. <laughs> it's really the Dark Spear. Oh, okay. I guess we won't be using it. Yeah, he wasn't gonna let us kill it. That was probably his master plan. Is he? He wasn't gonna let us actually kill it. There you go. Circle is back eject. Gotcha. I'm gonna forget that totally. I'm actually going to forget that. <laughs> is that a curiosity? What does the map say? Oh yeah. See, Meridian is actually a place in this game. Okay. So, so really, there's a whole world around this. Uh, obviously, you know, there's stuff out, you know, in all directions. They're just for this portion, they, they kept a little bit of the old game here, I, I guess. For, for right now, you know, nothing major, nothing too crazy. Okay, I see how it is, gotcha. So circle when you're climbing is like normal jumping. It's, it's like if you want to, you know, make an actual leap off of something. Oops. What the fuck? Thank you. I missed it twice and then I didn't hold it long enough for some. Alright. Should be able to 
get up there. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> that was helping me when he gave me yeah, no, it was a, it was a trap for us to deactivate Hades and send it to him. Transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? To Why else? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Oh, here we go. Out of the top will tell me. Well, doesn't look like I can keep climbing this way. All right, so I guess I gotta go back the other way. He wasn't gonna let us actually kill the thing. It looks like this panel's a jar. Can I go up through the inside? Hmm? I guess she outfits all her spears with the ability to interface. Access lift activated. Happy day. Engaging maintenance configuration. Baby's opening up. Wonder what the card we make of this. Uh, we just started a revolution. <laughs> Forbidden West. Hmm. Well, Eloy. <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover. Took you four fucking years. What's wrong? Actually, more like five. How could you be so reckless? Reckless. You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. Why don't you one of those guy up back that you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leroy. Ah, okay, six months. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll confront you. The coordinates should make it simple enough. All right, now he's he is being a dick here. Aloy was kind of an asshole to him in the first game, but he is being a dick with this. Yeah, for sure. Man, can't you just be chill, man? I hate it. That's cool. That's cool how it like wraps back around. Better let Varl and Marad know what I found. Alright. I really like that this is like an entire arena that we actually were in in the first game. And it feels like it's been remastered, you know? I guess I should be flattered by the statue. Yeah, this wasn't here, right? Feels wrong. Yeah, it's of her, Especially I think. My job's only half done. Is it? Yeah, they did. They built a statue to her because this is where she prevailed. That's cool. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the battle of the Elite. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Yeah, and uh all the insignificant ones died. Yeah, there were uh bellowbacks before. Huh. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. Are we 
push through. This is cool. I like this. Alright. I think that's kind of it. Oh no, what's this? Yeah, the final boss. Here it is. This machine was the last line of defense for Hayes. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. Yeah, and apparently it's uh, half buried too. Get the nice tea bag going on. All right, see ya. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can really bunny hop anymore in this game. Oh well. Went inside it and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. A few of us in the tower change from reading. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. <laughs> the West is called Forbidden for a reason. The tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. It's an act. They allow no trespassers past its border. That's it. Under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you. I wonder how silence gets past him. More killers. The sun came. It's good to see. Yeah, it is. And there's a. Is that his? Are they related? I can't remember. Can we show the champion the spear now, please? He took me. Quiet. That's cool that they returned too. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Avad, this is all very kind, but I... What's it? Vanasha. Oh, sweet! Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? This is really cool that these characters are in here. Yeah, better spear. The headpiece. Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. It's really cool that all five of those characters come back for a little bit. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. It's kind of weird that they didn't make Vinash's quest, like, actually relevant, though. That, that's the weird thing. Oh, you can modify the spear. Wow. Hey, I could finally do that thing I wanted to do the whole time. I guess they, they what, they put it here? Oh, you can unequip it. I guess you're going to get multiple different kinds of spears in this. Edit coils. We Slot locked. Okay, you have to upgrade a weapon at the workbench. Oh, so maybe there's a set... You only get a set amount of stuff in this game. And you have to upgrade all of it. Okay. Fire deals damage over time. Frost increases impact damage. Shock stuns the target. Purge water disables elemental attacks. Acid weakens and damages armor, and plasma stores damage until an explosion is triggered. State build-up speed. Adhesive slows movement. Impact is range damage. Oh, okay. I, I, I kind of figured that. I just I always forgot that for some reason. And the pull caster special gear. Okay. To attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. I guess you can't craft when you're out in the field. Maybe just ammo now. You can toggle the visibility of Aloy's headpieces. Okay, we'll keep it on, I guess. This 
sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I'd hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Nox territory. By the sun, to Nox? Well, perhaps Moran already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Nice. Oh, here we go. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. I wonder what happened to the Shadow Karja after everything. Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted like how we've never heard of these guys before. Sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. Okay. What makes this coming embassy so special? Not just like today is special. Because of the guest. I love you, Aloy. Please Our marry me. We'll meet with the just outside there at night. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Shaf, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean Raider? No. Not in this case. Bashav is my cousin. Nothing like he was in his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Simbar Sands. And has been held ever since. You know, I kind of gotta say, it's pretty cool, the way that they have all this stuff. Oh, there's, there's more. Here we go. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The conversations definitely look very different than what they did in Zero Dawn. The Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> more like metals. Which, again, were a step up from, like, you know, ten years prior to that. We're a long way from Mass Effect 3, and I remember remembering that as state-of-the-art. This coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Okay. Your cousin, Bashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five Not long enough. Years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? soon enough if you see him before I do tell him that I await him in the meeting where he belongs if I see him I will all right and eat him in looks happy eat him in sorry you got him out of sunfall any happiness he has he yeah that was an optional quest it really it didn't feel like it either it felt like a mainline quest which you'll need to be if he's yeah. down here at the Will the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes. Well, I'd have to get married for that to happen. If I can't marry you, Aloy, I'll have no kids. Murad keeps throwing <laughs> noble matches. At me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. Edelman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I'm I might be able to come with you, Aloy. <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you. On this marriage. fucking sim. You make it sound easy. I love you so much. I play all your games every day. I need to get going. One moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. I might not ever see you again. Before, there's no way to know when 
I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. Oh, here we go. We're going to get a fucking dialogue choice. Mission is over. Will you return to Meridian? This is the introduction to it. She is completely uninterested. <laughs> Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Yeah, here we go. See? That's not the time. A less obvious approach, compassion, or give way. It's a nice thought. All right, so you could basically be like, fuck you. Uh, you know, it would be pretty cool. I, I don't know. What do, you, what do you think? Should I should I be mean to him? I like how this is the first fucking what point that we could do this. Like, it's just this poor guy giving it his all, you know? God damn, man. Yeah. It's a, now's not the time. Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places, too. This poor guy. He just genuinely likes her. And she just is running around doing crazy, stupid shit. At least, not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Aloy. As always, our hopes arrive. <laughs> they really they really like putting that man through the fucking rigor for some reason <laughs> and there he is just standing there fucking ironclad what the hell man at least make him look or do something jeez have him go cry in a corner fuck's sake you probably like that too <laughs> dowager queen masadi blessed champion itaman what do you say Xbox is better. My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. That was so rehearsed. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edwin. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! Yeah, because there was a Thunderjaw on her mission, I think, right? Alright. What about, um, the other two? Where are they? Where, where are, what about, um, the, the other people? Shit, I forget what they were called. Uh, Vinash. Vinash and uh, the other guy from the mission. My melee attacks are fast, heavier, slower, but can knock down small machines. Okay, well, what I want to do is I want to craft it. Power attacks are very strong. Okay, so you could tap R2. Here they are. You could tap R2, you could hold R2. What is it? What's it? Vinasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself. We're just side characters. You saved our butts. <laughs> if you've got to go, go with our blessing always all right you both look like you're doing well mr shiny pants here is now the sun king's senior military there you go he advisor. found something to do that means people actually have to listen to him talk may the sun bless their sorry souls at least i say something of substance every once in a while <laughs> what was that i just fell asleep while you were talking and they have such like good chemistry, man. I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. Okay. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. 
Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside... Look at him, look at him. <laughs> He's so happy. This dude was giving up on life in the last game. <laughs> Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after cooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did that quest. It it's was worth it. Since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the you, you have no idea what's going on here. After you wiped out the eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the citadel and entered the <laughs> The Sundom was unified. Beautiful. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense. I love her. <laughs> Alright, well, there you go. They're done. Well, I mean, they have no leaders or anything left, so. Go. Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. That's cool that they're in, man. I, I like both of their characters. They they had a really good like mission chain, you know. Uh oh. There you go. Spear upgrade. There you go. Champion Spear, okay. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new. To store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Yeah, that's what I was reading about. The combo thing. You could, like, hit them a bunch of times and then sticky them and then shoot it. Like how the spear is still not visible on your back. Hammer space, my friends. If you don't know what it is, you've seen it, you just don't know it has a name. Or do you want to chat some metal with your friends? No, nope, time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt. The canyon marks the western border. Sun. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Us? Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Is he also an actor? Kind of reminds me of the, uh, like a dude from Oblivion. Oh God, is it this dude's house again? <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling, homie. Yep. All right, we're setting out. He's asleep. Goodbye. Sidekicks, help. Friends? Fuck that. Yeah, as if he's not going to chase after us and get into trouble. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, I think maybe she set out in the evening. So she, this dude just clocked out early. I mean, what do you think? He'll be asleep until the morning? Obviously, he's just going to set out. He'll be a day behind us. Not even. I like this opening. This is, this is really nice. It's just part of Aloy's nature. She's just an outcast. Like, she doesn't really get along with people that well. You can even see it a little bit in the conversation. She, like, kind of shies away a little bit sometimes. This is cool, though. It's shown, like, all the areas in the first game. 
Which is weird, like, all the machines are, like, nice here for some reason. I'm probably not gonna be able to play this, am I? Yeah, they're just showing every area in the first game, basically. So this is now just a normal Karja garrison. There pretty much is no Shadow Karja left. You know he's gonna really hate himself for falling asleep slightly too early and missing her. Yeah, I guess this would be the Forbidden West, more or less. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be able to summon a mount and all that. The Forbidden West. Why is there a pause symbol in the middle of the logo? I wonder if that's going to mean something. I could overthink it, you know. Like, who the fuck? <laughs> Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today, and not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt, the whole valley, gets infested with machines. All right, well, we can clear them out. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? You. Just stay on the lift. Fine. Fine. Just let me get close enough, I'll jump off. You could just go right back up. Oh, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Reach the dawn. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage to the brink because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Yeah, so why would he want to do all that? Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Oh, don't worry, we're going to get involved with this. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed oh, to. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> and 
right, here he is, so we're gonna have to talk with him. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh no. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this this what? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag. What is? That's Aloy. Studious what is? Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian. Yeah, dude, there's not random Nora running around out here. What are you, stupid? That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the embassy of Baronite. The way I hear it serves you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon. Proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See? Scripture. It says right here, in my wheel. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less school. I sent him out here? What Damn, is? that sucks. Studious bodies. Studious bodies sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shut the fuck up. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Look at this dude. Thanks. Why, why can't you be the, the fucking envoy? Why do we have to have this guy? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers. He's like, yep. That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. <laughs> I like how we just, just don't like that guy. Your your is just way more helpful. Okay, here we go. Ancient chimes, yeah, keys. Ah, oh, my favorite. Ancient chimes. Yeah, I always have to do that, I'm sorry. I did it I did it before, I'll do it again. It's hilarious. Okay. Um how do you save? I know the saving was was on bonfires. Oh, here we go. Probably about to teach you right now. It's it's like an hour long intro to the game, pretty much. Fast travel is free. Okay. Anyway, let's quick save. That's way fast. I blinked and it came back. Okay, make a new game save. Dude, it's, it's so fucking fast, man. It's crazy.